Hey everyone, in today's video I am going to be sharing a huge collective haul and I'm also going to add in some things that were sent to me and I'm actually wearing one of the things right now so if you noticed why my hair is laid and why it's so long. I'm gonna get into that in a second. And before I get started, I just wanted to welcome all of my new subbies. So thank you so much for coming over to my channel. And if you love makeup and you want to be enabled, welcome <laughs> because I do a lot of hauling. And recently I've been really getting into my tutorial flow again. So I just wanted to welcome everyone. I got a chance to meet up with It's Judy Time, also from It's Judy's Life here on YouTube. And I was super, super excited to meet her because I've been watching her since I got into YouTube almost eight years ago, over seven years ago, crazy, right? So I've been watching her for so long and I finally got to meet her and I even made a cameo in one of her vlogs. So I know a lot of you follow me through her and join me on this channel and subscribe. So I just want to say hey, and if you haven't seen the video or you guys have been living under a rock, I'll link to it down below so you can see it. But yeah, I was so excited and I couldn't believe she recognized me because it's been so long since we've been on YouTube. So yeah, it was so cool. So I'm going to link to that if you guys aren't familiar. And now I'm going to get into the haul. So the hair, okay? I've never tried clip-in extensions on my own. I've only had them like years ago at a photo shoot. And let me tell you guys, it's amazing. I absolutely loved it. But I just never felt compelled to buy extensions or anything. But when I tried them, I was like, oh my god, it's so luxurious. But, you know, I just figured, oh my gosh, it's probably like way too much trouble, way too much time. And I already take 10 years to get ready. But... I got contacted by Irresistible Me Hair Extensions and they offered to send me some free ones and I was like, okay, there's no excuse not to try it. So I told them that I wanted, I think it's called Soft Black. I got 20 inches, 200 grams, and I will post the information down below of what exactly I got if I didn't remember correctly, but I think that's what I got. I didn't get the Jet Black. I got the one that's a little less black or a little less blue black but they have tons of colors and these are the silky touch ex clip-in extensions and as you can see like you can't even tell where my hair ends and where the extensions begin and what I did was okay this is how excited I was and how I was like okay I need to make this work because I had a really blunt or I still have or no, I had. I had a really blunt haircut that was straight across. I had really long hair, probably longer than the extensions. Yeah, definitely longer than these extensions. That's how long my hair was. And then in November, I made a huge chop and I did like a kind of like a shoulder length bob. So I did that huge drastic cut and it was blunt. I didn't have any layers cut in. So I couldn't really put in these extensions without it being super obvious that I had um, extensions. So I had to go and get a haircut this week. Okay. So my hairdresser, she told me that she wasn't really comfortable with doing like that kind of choppy haircut where you take some shears and you do like this kind of gradation in your layers so she could definitely do like regular face framing layers but anything where there's like texturizing involved and using a razor she's not really comfortable with that so I was like all right cool I'm going to be looking out for a deal to go get a haircut in the city at a really top-notch salon that could give me that kind of style and that kind of cut that's kind of like rocker and textured and layered in a way that would blend in with the extensions. So I did get an amazing deal on Guilt Group and I went to the Ted Gibson salon in the city. So normally the haircut is $125 and I paid less than $70. On Guilt Group I cashed in my voucher right away. I was like so excited that they had an appointment available right away so that I could get the haircut and have my extensions blend in. Uh, so yes, it was amazing. The hairstylist did a really, really good job with the haircut. And then I went to see my hairdresser because she's really amazing at blowouts. So I went to see her and I got my blowout and she also loves hair extensions and 
playing with her hair and doing crazy colors. And so I brought the hair to her so that she could kind of trim them since she's an expert. So <laughs> have her trim the hair extensions and you know just try them on. So she put them in and they're just clip-ins so it's not really like anything crazy or anything. And here I still have one because in the package they send you a sample on one side so you can try them just in case you didn't get the right color you can send them back so you can see the clips right here and what she did since my hair is really thin um, especially from so many blowouts it, the clips wouldn't just grab onto my hair so what she did was she made like a little tiny braid not all the way down just right at the root so a tiny like three strand braid and she anchored the clips onto the braid and snapped them in. So I just absolutely love it. Like this really makes me miss my long hair. I wish I kind of still had it because then I could just, you know, have them just look thicker. But this totally blends in and so when I feel nostalgic I can wear this or if I have a special event. And it holds curls really well and I love that they've dropped a bit and now they're like a loose wave. I just think it's so sexy and so fun. So yes, I love them. I This is my first time wearing them so first impressions is I love them. And um, I do have a coupon code for you guys and I will leave all the information in the description box. So these are Irresistible Me hair extensions. I'm telling you, I live like... Okay, all right, so let me move on. I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. So first things first is I did get my hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe brushes. I'm wearing that on my eyes right now, if you're wondering, and I love the colors that I've tried. Let me open this up so I can show you guys, but I'm sure you've already seen it so many times. So here it is, and I just love the colors because I am someone who loves warm eyeshadows, especially warm crease colors, so I just can't get enough of it. It's perfect, it's perfect, it's perfect. If I made a palette, it would be warm, and I had been asking for like a really warm palette, and this is it. And it has purples, which is amazing for brown eyes, and I have brown eyes, and this pop of green, just, just perfect. So I was really, really impressed with the quality of the shadows I've tried so far, especially with how inexpensive the palette is. And it's sold out right now, but they did say they would restock it. So just go on the website. Who knows? Randomly, it might pop up. Um, but definitely keep an eye out for it. And I may or may not have an extra one for a giveaway. So you may want to be a subscriber if you're new to my channel. Hit that subscribe button because... I may or may not have an extra one. So yes, I was up all night trying to get this palette when it came out and through some miracle, I got my hands on it and I love it. So yeah, then I got some lashes. So I'm wearing these crazy lashes right now and the, I wasn't even planning on getting lashes, but I really, really wanted the lash glue from House of Lashes because I've heard so many people talk about it, rave about it, say that it's the best lash glue ever, and I lost my duo, so I was like, alright, this is the opportunity to try this, and I have to say that I agree, I absolutely love this lash glue, it's amazing, it gets tacky right away, and you can put on your lashes, and they're not going anywhere, so... This has just made the whole process so much easier for me because I'm not really someone who is like really fussy about lashes or I don't really wear them as much because it just takes so long and I already take so long to do my makeup. But this is so good. So definitely worth it. And one thing about me is that I refuse to pay shipping. I hate paying shipping for things that I order online so if the minimum is low enough I'm cool I will get extra things just so I don't have to pay shipping which I know is ridiculous and that's how they get you but um, the pair that I'm wearing are the Heartbreaker by House of Lashes they are so cute and like wispy and fluttery and oh, so sexy I love them and then I did get a second pair of lashes let me show you I got the sirens and I've had I think the number 35s from Mac or something like that they're very similar uh, so I got that pair as well 
So these are very like wispy looking lashes and you guys can go on their website and check it out if you want to see like um, how they look on and everything. But I hope you get an idea with these. So these are the Heartbreaker. So amazing. Okay. And then, um, okay, where do I go next? I have things everywhere. All right. So I'll do Sephora. Okay. So I wasn't even planning on ordering online from Sephora until I saw this in one of the emails. So they have, I don't know if they still have it, but they had this 250 point perk where you get a free tote bag. And I have this other Sephora tote bag that totally like ripped because I've used it so much. That was a 250 point perk like so long ago. It finally croaked. And then suddenly I see that there's another 250 point perk for a tote and I was like, someone is looking out for me. So I had to get it. So this is the 250 point tote. So cute, right? So I love it. And I use it because I'm such a bag lady to carry so much stuff to work and everything like gym clothes or a change of clothes if I'm going out or something. I need my tote bag. So I got that. Um, and then in order to get that I had to order something so I picked up a new blush and it's from Becca and I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks and it's super glowy and it's called Flower Child. So I've been wanting to kind of get some new blushes just so that I have some permanent ones when I use in tutorials and I just wanted, you know, any excuse for a new blush so I love it. I got it and so happy I did. And I got my tote. <laughs> then I picked up at the store. I went and I got this. Okay, there's going to be a lot of contour and highlight. I'm warning you now. So I got this sculpting cream from Becca. It's called their Low Light Sculpting Perfector. And let me show you. Okay, I've been wanting this for a really long time. And here's what the contour cream looks like. So you can see it's kind of a cooler tone contour and I'm wearing it right now and it just looks really really natural because it's not as orange as the contour palette that I use right now which isn't a contour palette but I use it in that way and let me just try to get it out to show you guys this is the Graftobian high dev glamour cream in warm palette number three and you can see it's a lot more of an orangey or more of a warm colored contour or warm color palette as the name suggests and I do absolutely love it so this is more of like my JLo glow palette it's really affordable so if you guys want to try this out I'll leave a link but um I just thought that if that's my JLo this is my Beyonce contour because her contour isn't at that warm so I just thought that this would be so perfect and when I was trying it on I was like yes this is what I want. It's not super crazy dramatic. It's more of a drier texture and it's just everything. So I do really love this. If you want something that's not super warm, like the product I'm going to show you next, definitely check out this cream. I already know that I'm going to love it. So the next one that I'm going to show you is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit and this is hot off the press i just got it in the mail yesterday and this is definitely on the warm side so i kind of wish they had kind of like a cooler tone like the becca one but this is the medium toned kit and i think i'm gonna like this a lot like my jlo glow like the graftobian so i think this is gonna be like a similar kind of love and I haven't tried it yet, but I did see on Norvina's Instagram that these are going to be drier in texture. So I'm definitely interested in trying them out because the Graftobian one is super creamy. So I'll see how they compare, but I can't wait to dig into this. I've already seen some videos on Instagram of people using it, so definitely can't wait. But I had to give my Beyonce contour a try first. And then, okay... Last one. So from Sephora, I did pick up the Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light Palette and, um, yeah, Shade and Light Contour Palette. And everyone has been raving about this. So that's why I had to pick this up, even though I don't need another contour kit. And if another brand comes out with another contour kit, I don't know what I'm going to do. 
every day there's a new one out <laughs> but um yeah this is definitely more on the cooler side and i am also wearing this on top of the becca so you can see that it gives like a really natural look so i definitely love this and i think it's super wearable and i'm gonna keep trying it out because this was my first time trying it but so far so good um, so definitely love this and I do have the original Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I don't really reach for it as much because I'm more of a cream person but I was like oh, everyone's raving about the Kat Von D so let me try it but I'm a cream contour person so when they came out with the cream contour kit I was all over it I just think you're gonna get the most natural look and just blend it so much better and it's not gonna be patchy but if you have uh, kind of oily skin, I understand that you'd gravitate more towards the powders. But for me, I love the creams, but I still set them with powder. I just do the most. But, you know, for normal people, you have options. You don't have to do it both. Okay, so then next, I did order the Sigma Spa Matte from the website okay I was so excited when I saw people mention this some of the people who went to IMATS in LA got their hands on this first and I just couldn't wait for it to come out because I absolutely love my glove I have the original glove and I will not wash my brushes without this I have a lot of brushes so this cuts my brush washing time into like a fraction of the time I don't know if that made sense but it just you know saves me so much time because I have a million brushes and I hated washing them until I got this because now I can get through it faster so it's not so much that I don't hate it but it's bearable so I cannot live without this so when they came out with the spa mat I was like oh my god this is gonna save me even more time because now I'll have two hands to wash my brushes with and how this works is that it has these little suction cups that you suction onto your sink and then you have your water running and the water is running over like this part right here where you rinse your brushes and so you have these textures up here to help deep clean your eye and your face brushes and then you rinse them off with this section here that kind of helps rinse all that product out and then they have so many different textures so depending on how dirty your brush is they have some things that will get it even like um, a more of an intense cleaning or just give it a different texture to kind of give it uh, different angles to get the product out if you get what I mean so I had to have it because I thought I'm gonna use two hands but it turns out that I still only use one hand to wash my brushes and um, the the way that my sink is angled it kind of pulls the water up around the rinse area so it's not like just rinsing down it's kind of like creating a little pool so it's not as efficient as at rinsing them out and then the other thing that it doesn't really do that I liked about the glove is this refine air or um I don't know is this called refine I don't know but this thumb area here where you slide your brushes through and then when you tighten it you kind of shape them so I'll show you for example you kind of go like this and it squeezes the water out and you shape your brush at the same time so doesn't really have that feature so it's up to you right what you want to try maybe your sink will work better with the spa mat and it is more affordable than the glove they do have another glove out so I think that if I were you I would go for that other glove because it has more textures um, but this is the original one so if you were thinking about getting it I would definitely get that glove but it's up to you if you want to try this and if you like the idea of using both hands but for me it just I love my glove more next I have some things from Bobble Bar and if you guys haven't already noticed I'm totally obsessed it's like a problem and I wanted to share the latest pieces that I've gotten and they're all earrings I'm like in an earring kick I love them so I will link to them below because I don't know the names but I'll just show you so this is another ear jacket and I love it because it has like a little bit of turquoise and I thought that for music festival season this is gonna be so cute so um 
here you go so this part it's like a stud part it goes in the front of your ear and then you put this part behind your earlobe and it kind of secures so this part is kind of like peeking out of the back and then this is in the front so I just thought this is gonna be so dope and so cool and I absolutely love my Cairo ear jackets and those I remember because I get questions about those all the time so yeah this is another one of those and I just love it okay next I got these which are super trendy and I was so hesitant to get them but these are the ones that um it's like a small pearl on the front and then this giant pearl in the back and I think it looks kind of funny it kind of looks like a growth but I saw like these kind of metallic ones online and when I saw the pictures I was like oh those don't look so bad let me give them a try and they do look really cool and they do have some weight to them though so if your ears are really sensitive these could affect them but if you don't have sensitive ears definitely I prefer the metal ones or the ones with the metallic finish over the other ones so those are cool and then these I got these for ten dollars super inexpensive and these are little like triangle studs covered in crystals so I love that and I used to have a similar pair from Express but it was like a graphite color that I loved and I lost one of the earrings so mad so when I saw these I had to get them but they didn't have that dark color that I used to have but just fine I love these and they're super cheap so had to get them and then they have this kind of like guest bartender which I love because it's a bubble bar and then they have bartenders that kind of curate little collections and the newest one is from Wendy's Lookbook which is a YouTuber so I had to get something from her collection because she has so many cute pieces so I got these earrings and oh, I love them so I love them they're gold and then this pair up here they also have a like a longer piece that sticks out of the back of your ear so I'm just loving that trend and I just had to get them so pretty but yeah so I think that's everything <laughs> I hope that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys I hope you enjoyed this crazy haul if you're still watching thank you so much if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the video don't forget uh, 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 I've been talking for too long if you like the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me and any questions leave them in the comments Anyway, guys, I think this video is long enough. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.